Hello friends, once again welcome to Tech with us. Friends, verification and validation are independent procedures that are used together for checking that a product, service or system meets its requirement or not. Both verification and validation are critical component of quality management system. In this video, let's try to understand the concept of verification and validation in a very easy to understand manner. If you are preparing for an interview, you should able to differentiate them clearly. So let's start. Let's start with a simple situation. Later, we will see few technical examples also. Assume we have a requirement to travel from point A to point B. And after analyzing, we have identified that there are three possible ways by which one can achieve this. By taking any of the route, we are fulfilling the requirement of reaching point B. In technical term, this is called as validation, where one bothers just about the customer requirement if it is fulfilled or not. There is an another aspect of this, where we are questioning how we are reaching to point B. It could be route 1, 2 or 3. Examining this how part is called as verification. So in simple to understand term, the focus during validation is on result and during verification, the focus is on procedure. With this example, I think you have already got a fair idea. Let's see another situation and try to understand where verification and validation needed. We have already discussed software development lifecycle models on this channel. I will provide the links in the video description. You can check out later. This one is the classical V model for software development. If you try to observe the left side of the model, here we have work products like requirements, architecture, design and code. So can you guess what is the way to identify any issue in these work products? I hope you guess right. It is by doing review. Review is an static activity. I mean no code execution needed here for the review. We have various types of reviews like requirement review, design and code review. So by reviewing this work products, we are verifying the procedure here. Means to achieve certain results, the procedure adopted is correct or not. Now I think it is already clear that at the right side of the model, we have the major work product code and various types of tests like unit test, integration test, system and acceptance test. So after confirming that the procedure is correct, it is the time to test the result itself, whether the results are as per the specification or not. So all these types of testings comes under validation. Where one confirms the system output, behavior or results are as per the customer requirements or not. Though there is a small gray area in code, as we have review, which is a static activity and unit testing, which requires some extent of code execution. In this phase, we have both verification as well as validation. Based on the detailed discussion we have so far, we can differentiate verification and validation as mentioned in this table. You can take a screenshot of this for your future reference. So friends, here we come to end of this video. Please share your feedback on this video. I frequently make such informative video. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for all upcoming updates. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.